What's up everyone, I go by Rifle and thanks for checking out this video. In this I'm going to be showing you guys 5 easter eggs, references, or whatever you want to call them around the division. If you do end up enjoying this, please consider leaving a like, it's greatly appreciated. At least I'm not sitting here view whoring it up by just giving you one at a time and telling you to smack that naughty like button at the end because, hey, that's just cheap. That's a view whore right there. And I'm not being like that. I'm giving you guys a bundle because bundles seem to always be better. So anyways, let's get started. The first one I'm going to be starting with is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Easter Egg. This one is subliminally referencing Michelangelo out of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crew. If you come around here on the map, right beside this Kerman Coffee Shop, you can find some nunchucks laying on top of a pizza box that says Radical. Now this is either a highly coincidental setup here that someone else had some nunchucks with a pizza, or this is referencing Michelangelo's weapon choice with, of course, how the whole Turtle Squad loved pizza. That's radical, dude. Up next, though, I have you a very simple one to find in the base of operations, otherwise known as Boo. I'm just playing. I hope you don't call it that. Anyways, when entering this place, first thing to your right, if you come over here in the corner of this desk, you can find some night vision goggles that look very similar to the night vision goggles in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Up next, though, when on the mission Subway Morgue for the tech wing at the part where the lights are about to turn off. Pretty much a better way to explain this is once you get to this location that I'm at right now, you will notice a guy in this control room that goes by Paul Rhodes. But his character model looks extremely like Aiden Pierce here, and this is your first encounter of him, so it's like, what the heck? Am I partying up with Aiden Pierce or what, what, what's going on right now? I have to say, that would be pretty badass, but nah, by the looks of him close up, this guy looks as if he's Aiden Pierce's grandpa or something. But you cannot say right now when you're first encountering him and saving him from this place that he does not look like Aiden Pierce. And not to mention, when you do go up to him in the tech wing, he does kind of look like him. If Aiden Pierce, you know, gained a few years and grew out a beard, that is. But all in all, it does make sense that Ubisoft would throw in a character that looks highly like Aiden Pierce. After all, Ubisoft did create Watch Dogs, and Ubisoft did create The Division. So, on that note, they do go hand in hand, and it does make sense. Anywho, this next one is an Adventure Time Easter egg, and it's located right around this area on the map. Once you get here, you just want to head into this park area and you will notice the art on the wall is actually the Adventure Time art. I mean, it is highly similar and colorful, and to me, I think this is referencing Adventure Time. And if you head over here to the right of this wall, you can see a sign that says, Don't be a fool, stay in school with a castle that says school on it with a brain on top. I mean, it's just creative and fun, like the Adventure Time art. Not to mention, similar character styles and themes are around on this wall that you see in the show. Last up, though, on this list, I have you a Shaun of the Dead Easter egg. If you head to this location on the map, in between 22nd and 23rd Street, you will find this park that looked kind of similar to the one I just showed you. And you want to head back into this alleyway over here. I pass this American flag. That's how you can kind of tell you're in the right direction. And once you get into this area, you're going to have to look around for an echo that tells past events and what happened at the area, in case you don't know what an echo does on the game. But anyways, once you end up finding it and activating it, you will find out that it actually pops up a scene very similar to the Shaun of the Dead. If you remember this part of the movie, it's where he says, What's the matter, David? Never taken a shortcut before? Then he goes to hop over the fence and the fence just falls. He doesn't die in the movie, but this is pretty much the same thing that happens in the movie. And as you guys can see, his name is Sean here, except the person that he's talking to is Deborah, not David. But yeah, if you want to see that scene for yourself, I'll leave a link to that in the description. It's one of those you have to see it for yourself to laugh. I'll go ahead and replay this for y'all so you guys can listen in on what this echo says. Shit! They found us! We're so dead! Quick, through here! What? Over the fences? What's the matter, Deborah? Never taken a shortcut before? Uh, ah! I have to say, this was a hilarious scene in the movie. And it's awesome to see that they incorporated this humor into The Division. Actually, it's awesome to see them incorporate all these small little references around the game. I love finding little easter eggs like this. I don't know why, I just get an enjoyment out of it. If you have any that you've found and would like to share with me in the comments, then by all means, feel free to share away. 
I do try to keep up with the comments of my videos, especially when I mention to share something. But I guess that's how wrapping up this video, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this lineup. As always, though, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of my video to remember to take a little bit of your time and leave a like on it. It's greatly appreciated. The support continues to help my channel rise, and for that, I can't thank you all enough. But this has been your rifle, and remember to stay safe out there, everyone, and subscribe for a lot more Division content to come. Peace.